What's up guys, this is Yeah Boy, and I'm gonna go over my gaming PC setup for one-handed gaming on the computer. Uh, let's start off with my chair and my desk. This is an ergonomic chair from the UK or somewhere like in Europe, somewhere way over there. And I'm in Texas, so it's quite a while away, but it was worth the purchase. Um, this is a standing desk, and it's from Vari Desk. I cannot use it anymore because I can't use my left hand to grab these little paddles on both sides and uh, lift my desk up. But I got a lot of awesome use out of it uh, when I wanted to st like stand up in game so I'm not sitting down all the time. Anyways, uh, here is my PC and I've got a GTX 1070 overclocked in there and uh, here's my monitor, I'll get to that in a second. Let's start with the mouse. This is a Logitech uh, G600, and I can program 12 functions to, if I can get my, mouse, my camera to focus, I can program 12 functions to these 12 keys on the side. And then there is a button where my right pinky would go, a third button, so you have your index finger, middle finger, and then your pinky, or your ring finger can hit that, yeah, sorry, not, not my pinky, my ring finger would hit that third button, and that basically allows me to assign another 12 functions to these keys on my thumb. So that allows for 24 functions on my thumb, and then, of course, like the middle mouse button, uh, the, what's it called, the, um, this one, the scrolling one, goes left, right, down, and then, of course, the scrolls you can assign buttons to that. You can also as assign commands to these two buttons right there, right here. Um, my keyboard is a gaming keyboard from Logitech, but uh, since all I can really do is like bash my hand on the keyboard and I, because my left hand's paralyzed, I can't really do anything. So I don't, I don't even touch my keyboard when I'm gaming. Uh, instead for movement, I use this. This is a 3D rudder. That's what it's called. 3D space rudder. And uh, put my feet on it and then that allows me to move forward, back, left, or right. And I can also assign commands. Oh yeah, and I can change the, uh, I can change the sensitivity of that. This can act as WASD or it can act as a joystick. And there's like a whole, there's just so many things you can do with this, but uh, anyway, I can also assign a command for rotating left, rotating right, or it's also pl uh, pressure sensitive. So if I um, do this with my right toe down and my left heel down, that can be a command, or my left toe and right heel, that's another command. So. Yeah, I can do all of this for commands, or this, or this. So it's it's really it's really quite cool. Um, I have another foot, uh, like a foot controller down here. Uh, it's hard to see, and I, I can't really get the brightness to light up that much. But it's there's four buttons you can do customized. I don't use it, but I can I can uh, assign a command to this left button, middle button, right button, or way up here the top button. And um, but yeah, I don't I don't use it just because I don't need to. And with both of my feet right here on the 3D rudder, um, I don't need that other one over there that I got on Amazon for like 20 bucks. Um, so yeah, let's I guess go over. I have the Blue Snowball microphone. Um, this is being recorded on my iPhone right now, though. But this snowball is a really cool, good mic. Um, just so y'all know, the tape is to cover up this really bright red light indicating that it's on and plugged in. Um, well, it's not recording, but it's plugged in. And that red light is always on, so I covered it up with some duct tape, Gorilla Tape. And these are my Bose speakers. They are really high quality speakers. They're not marketed for gaming, but they're such high quality like you can use them for whatever and if you like music they're also really good for that they have great bass and all the other sounds um this monitor the last thing in my setup the one of the best things of this setup is a uh, this is a 27 inch 
gaming monitor by Acer. It's the Acer Predator XB1. I got it in 2016. Um, and it's got NVIDIA G-Sync. It is an IPS monitor, so it's got better color than the TN panels. Um, it's got an IPS panel, is what I mean. And uh, it's got 165 hertz refresh rate with a four millisecond response time. Uh, that's great. I don't know if I already mentioned this, but it's 1440p. So yeah, I love this monitor. I'm gonna uh, switch over to the on-screen recording now and show you some other settings that I got. All right guys, here we are. This is the 3D Rudder dashboard. Right here we have a list of games that you can load the settings from the developers of the board. And if your game is not on this list, then you can email them and they'll add the game to the list and give you some settings for it. Uh, you can play whatever you want, even if it's not on this list. That list is just easy for activating settings really quickly. Um, so if I go to keyboard mode over here, I can, um, let me put my feet on the board real quick and then I get live feedback for sensitivity. Uh, I have WASD enabled for forward, left, back, and right. So let's say I want to like uh, adjust the sensitivity for going backwards. I can click on this for this direction and then I get live feedback right here. If I, so let's say I want to, um, I want the sensitivity to be, um, say like right here, it starts going back. Uh, there, that's, that's when the key is activated. So I just move the board to where I want it to be activated and then I can just move the sensitivity to right here so that once I get to right here, this much tilt, it'll activate that key. Um, so anyways, and then here's a mouse mode if I need to use the footboard as a mouse instead of my hand. And if I want to use the footboard as a joystick, I can do that. Um, now let's go over to my Logitech G600 mouse. It's the MMO mouse, and this is how you customize the controls for that. Uh, up here at the top is the list of my games and it goes to the right over here. If you want to get a game to the front of the list, just add a number one in front of the name. So I put number one Overwatch. And so let's say I want to reprogram some of these keys. Um, shift is for sprinting. And so if I want to change that, like crouch is for, con sorry, control is for crouch. If I want to swap these two or just make it whatever I want, this is how easy it is. I click this, that's the button, click assign new command. And let's make that crouch for control for crouch and click OK. And that's it. And if I want to make this uh, shift for sprint, assign new command, shift, OK. And then I can just save my settings. And then that's it. Um, and over here, uh, here's the G shift button that I was talking about for my ring finger. And if I hit that button, this is how you program all the other keys. You just tap right here. And then every time I hit this button, this is what those key, all these buttons are going to do. And then when I let go of G shift, it goes back to normal mode, which is all these commands. So yeah, that's a nice little swap right there. So it basically doubles the amount of buttons you have to press right here. And if I even, if I don't want that to be G shift, let's say I want that to be sprint or something. I can just assign new command, make that shift for sprint, and then there we go. Now I don't have G shift anymore. This dis this disappeared right here. And if I wanted, to, if I want that back in the future, I can just go to use the generic, and it's back to normal. And now I can assign these. And here's like changing the color options and stuff right here. So that's kind of cool. Anyways, um, yeah, guys, I hope this helped. That's how I play Overwatch with one hand. And if this video helped or if you know any disabled gamers that have one hand and they want to play some pc games then show them this video share this video so they know uh that there's good options out there and this this is the way i play and you really can't tell that that i'm playing with one hand when you watch uh when you watch me play because i look just like all the other players and it's not that hard so this 3D rudder gave, and this mouse gave me a lot of fun back to to gaming because it allowed me to, to play and keep up with all the other players with two hands. Um, Alright guys, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I'll catch y'all later.